Hey everyone, Ricardo here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a symmetrical components calculator that I developed for converting phase components to sequence components and sequence components back to phase components. And this is of course very useful for fault analysis where you might, for example, want to calculate the zero sequence or negative sequence current for an unbalanced fault so that you can set up your protection elements. Now before we go into this calculator, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We always post videos here about power engineering and power system protection and control. And if you want to learn more about power system protection and control, check out our online courses on our website where we go into these topics in a lot more detail. I'll leave a link to those courses in the description below. All right, so let's take a look at how we can use this symmetrical components calculator. All right, so with this spreadsheet, you can convert phase components, in other words, the A, the B, and the C phase current values into its corresponding symmetrical components. So for example, let's say that you were analyzing a relay event for an A phase to ground fault on a radial feeder, which let's say that you're looking at the event file and it has the following currents. So from the event file, you get that Let's say the A phase current is 1200 amps at zero degrees. The B phase current is zero amps and the C phase current is also zero amps. So as you can see here, this spreadsheet auto calculated the sequence components over here on the right. And you can see that the three I zero current is equal to the A phase current, which is of course expected for a single line to ground fault on A phase on a radial feeder. So again, this number over here, 1200 amps, and this number over here, 1200 amps match for the A phase current and the three I zero current. And you can also see here that we calculated the positive sequence current I1 and the negative sequence current I2. And also notice over here that for the zero sequence current, I'm actually calculating the three I0. So three times the zero sequence current, not simply just I0. And the reason I'm doing that is because relays typically use three I0 instead of I0 for the set points of the protection elements. So for example, in SEL relays, the ground over current protection elements operate off of the three I0 current, not I0. So I've just set up this calculation such that we calculate 3i0 just to make it more convenient for setting protection elements. Now, let's say that we had another example where we had balanced currents. So let's say now here that the B and the C phase currents were also 1200 amps. And again, these are balanced, which you can see over here on the angles. Now for this case, of course, we would expect to have purely positive sequence current since there is no unbalance in the system. In other words, the three phase currents are balanced. And we can see, of course, that over here on the right for the symmetrical components, we can see that we only have positive sequence and also its magnitude and angle is equal to the A phase current. Now, another point that I want to make on that note is that notice over here that I've entered a set of three phase currents balanced for an ABC system. In other words, these currents have an ABC rotation. You can see that over here because the B phase current has an angle of minus 120 degrees and the C phase current has an angle of positive 120 degrees. So these currents have an ABC rotation. Now notice over here as well that the phase rotation for the system as I've defined it is ABC. That's the reason why we get purely positive sequence current because not only our currents are balanced but they're in the same rotation as our system which I've defined over here as ABC. Now, just to kind of illustrate this, if I change this phase rotation and again this is the phase rotation for the system, if I change this to ACB, you can see over here that now we get purely negative sequence current. And the reason again here is because I have entered the currents, these three currents over here with an ABC rotation, but our system has an ACB rotation. And so then of course we get purely negative sequence current. And again, all of this is expected. What I'm trying to point out here is that the symmetrical components calculation is affected by what we defined our system phase rotation to be, which again is over here on cell C2. So just make sure that you enter that correctly for your system when using this calculator. Now you can notice down here that we also have a tab for converting from sequence components to phase components. So for example, let's say that if we knew we have a purely positive sequence current for a certain scenario in our system, we would expect, of course, the A, the B, and the C currents to be balanced with a rotation that matches the system rotation. So in other words, as you can see over here, if I have purely positive sequence at a thousand amps at zero degrees, and I have a phase rotation of ABC for my system, you can see over here on the right that the A, B, and C currents have the same magnitude and they're balanced with an ABC rotation. So the same thing here, if I were to change the phase rotation of the system to ACB, you can now see that the phase rotation of the resulting phase components also changed to ACB. And again, that's because we have purely positive sequence and now that we've selected ACB for the phase rotation, of course, our set of three phase, phase currents are gonna be balanced. They're gonna have the same magnitude 
and they're going to have an ACB rotation. So again, with this spreadsheet, all you have to do is to choose whether you want to convert from face components to sequence components or from sequence components back to face components. And you would go to that tab. So if you want to do face to sequence, you will go to this tab. If you want to convert sequence to face, you will go to this tab. And all you have to do is to enter the information over here on the left and the calculator will calculate either the phase components or the sequence components over here on the right. All right, so make sure to download this calculator using the link in the description below. And if you want to learn more about power system protection and control, check out our online courses on our website where we go into these topics in a lot more detail. We have courses on transformer differential protection, bus differential protection, protective relay logic, and more. And as always, make sure to like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more videos about power engineering and power system protection and control. And we'll see you in the next one.